Hey guys, uh, Gavin here again, uh, the Roleplay Secretary from Game and Roleplay. I'm recording this straight after doing the uh, rules summary. And I'm here to talk about uh, a complaint we've received uh, regarding some of the rules. And in the rules summary, I didn't mention DMPCs because there's going to be some changes. And I thought I should just outline the changes in a separate video. So we had a discussion uh, based upon a complaint we received about some of the rules on DMPCs and we've decided to make some changes just all straight away based on the suggestion <coughs> sorry uh, and then we've decided that we're just going to then put another question to the public and see what you think so the first thing is the changes we've made now we decided to make a change based upon Dungeon Master player characters and the first one is that we've decided to remove the restriction the play prevents Dungeon Master player characters from leveling from a token they gain on a quest they've ran. So if, for example, uh, me running Kuri, which is my character at the moment, uh, I had eight tokens and seven, sorry, eight, level eight and I had seven tokens, uh, and then I ran a quest, I would be able to level. Uh, that wouldn't be possible because of a different thing. But that's the idea. So for example, if a level 6 who had 5 tokens, the DM runs the quest with that character as the DMBC, that character could level and become level 7. Um, we are aware this also has worrying things, but we've put things in to counteract that. So also we are including these things. So DMBCs now have what's known as an on and off system, whereas you can't have your DMBC on the quest it's on unless the quest you did beforehand didn't have them on. So, for example, if I run a quest and I'm also using Kuri in the quest as an NPC, Kuri then can't be in the quest the quest after. It must be a quest completely unrelated to Kuri. So if I run, for example, a Topaz quest with my character in it and I'm running the quest, my next quest has to be something like a porcelain quest with none of my player characters on it. Um, and we're put introducing something called, which I like to call the front runner cap. And what this is, is it's not based on tokens, so a DM character can still be ahead in tokens than the rest of the players, but he can't over-level the players. So, for example, Kuri could not become level 9 while nobody else in West Marches is level 9. So this idea of breaking the level barrier is still something that players will get to experience. I think that's very important, but it also means that DMPCs don't just fall behind because they can't gain tokens and they've got no way of leveling. Um, one of the issues that we've had is that some DMBC's tokens are just stuck in lower boundaries because they can't get on quests run by other DMs to level, um, which is quite frustrating for some people. Uh, I know Mark has had that issue for a long time. He's actually had it twice now with Bucket. And I know that at the moment, Jack, uh, his character until I think today, uh, had been stuck at Emerald for potentially a month now because he just couldn't level from his own quests. <coughs> so we've decided to change the rules in favour of that thing. And we'll be editing the rules document when I, when I get home, pretty much. There was another part of the complaint that we'd like to address, and we'd like to put it to a poll. Um, with this ability of DMPCs to level themselves if they're behind pretty much. We're not sure that this is an issue anymore, but it was an issue that's raised, so we'd like to get people's opinions on it. And that's that DMPCs currently, even if they're, if they're applying to a quest that they're not running, uh, we've given them lower priority, so they're less likely to get chosen than a player because they can run their own quests, yeah? And we thought this made logical sense, but one of the complaint pretty much raised that it's going to be off-putting for people to become DMs if it means they're not going to get to play Dungeons & Dragons in the normal way than they normally would. And if they have a better reason than the other players, why can't they get chosen? And we didn't want to just say no, but because we couldn't justify that there was a reason to just say no. We think there is valid grounds to think that DM should have the same priority as other players, but I think we want that decision to be made by the public at large rather than us. So we're going to put this issue to a poll. The other changes are being made, and if in a while you realize you players feel like that's not a good change we've made, like if you give it a few weeks and you think it's not a good idea, feel free to write another complaint and we'll address it just like we have now. But I would like to just raise this point of do you think 
DM characters should have lower priority when applying to quests than the normal players. And I'm going to put a poll in the description. So if you would like to answer that and let us know, please do. Um, that poll is going to be open until November 3rd, at which point we're going to close the poll and then we will act upon the feedback and I'll probably make another video in like a week after November 3rd discussing what we've chosen to do. So yeah, those are the changes being made to S Marcher's rules currently. They're going to be made tonight. And then I am also going to put that poll down. Please answer it again. Deadline's November 3rd. And another change will be made based upon the result. If people agree that lower priority should still stay, it will stay. If not, we're going to get rid of it. So that's pretty much what we've got. Uh, whoever left the complaint, I want to thank you because uh, there were some quite touching things in there. You were quite complimentary of how things have gone and I think you were genuinely thinking of us. So thank you very much for thinking of us. Uh, it's very kind of you. Uh, and we're just gonna, we're trying to implement changes so the issues you have have been counted. And I hope you feel that they have. Uh, if in a few weeks you don't like the changes we've made, feel free to complain again as always. Um, so yeah, let us know what you think, because again, this is a community game. We want to know what people think. If you think this cheese changes are bad, give it a few, give it a few weeks. But if you still think it's bad, let us know. And make sure to vote the poll. That's a major thing. Thank you very much for your time. I hope this was informative.